particular trailer I just saw tonight when I was looking through a list of trailers. It stars David Tennant, and it's apparently a Netflix series. It's called Criminal. Haven't heard the first thing about it, so I'm pretty curious to check it out and see what it's all about. It's not very long, actually. The trailer is super short. Um, David Tennant... Well, uh, I'll just I'll save that until after I until after I watch this. Let's go. Okay. Oh, sorry about that interruption. I, I was I'm getting multiple messages, and it and it makes my it's so loud. Um, that was very distracting. Uh, this trailer was quite short. It was less than a minute and, and five seconds. It's coming out September twentieth. Okay. I'm definitely interested. I really don't have much of an idea. I can't quite tell from the trailer, and it's not because of the distraction of the notifications, but I can't quite tell from the trailer what's up. It's why they're interrogating these people, why it's taking place in different countries. Did they say four different countries or something like that? So, don't know what the crime is. Don't know what these people are accused of doing. Nothing. So, this was a pretty, uh, I think this trailer was done pretty well. While it was short, it felt like it was longer. And maybe it was because I kept getting distracted by the notification and I was trying to turn it off. But no, it, it felt like it lasted longer than it really did. And I think it was just because of the way it was put together. And it was felt, it felt almost like more of a teaser really than an actual full-on trailer because we don't get much of a sense of anything and we only see a, just a little tiny bit of stuff so um, but it's enough to to make me curious that I would like to check it out and so it comes out in just a few days what as of the recording of this it's gonna be like just about a week a little bit more than a week so I will put that in my to-watch list, just like I recently put The Island in my to-watch list. I did, a, I did a video on that a few weeks back. Um, I, I, I would say that the draw for me initially to even want to watch this trailer was yes, because of David Tennant. And it's kind of odd about him because he's not even really a favorite actor of mine. I don't particularly care for his acting in general, though he has grown on me somewhat over the years. The very first time I saw him was in Harry Potter, and I was not impressed. And I guess it was just because of the the character that he was playing, or maybe it was just the way he was acting the character. He was just such a turnoff, the way he was in there. And, um, I mean, obviously he was supposed to be because his character was bad, but I didn't like the way he played him. It was, it was kind of annoying. Not just because he was bad, but just his acting was annoying in there. And then he became the 10th Doctor, and everybody raves about him like he's the best Doctor. And I can sort of see why they think that, just because he's very animated in that particular role. But he is not my favorite Doctor. I never really cared too much for him as the Doctor. He, in my mind, when I see David Tennant, especially in the role as the Doctor... The thing that comes to my mind is on the blooper reel for Liar Liar, what's her name? 
Sweezy Kurtz or what it she, the girl who played the um, opposing counsel to Jim Carrey uh, Carrey's character and I can't She's got a different, an unusual name. I want to say Swoozy Kurtz, but I might be completely wrong because that sounds like maybe I'm misremembering it. But anyway, whatever. It's that girl that was the opposing counsel. In the blooper reel, they're doing their thing and he's doing his lines and she just yells out. It's like a scene where they're they're like name calling each other or whatever. And she, um, it was a scene where he called her Jezebel. And in the middle of that scene, to play a joke on him, she called him an overactor, and it cracked him up pretty bad. You know, it was it was it was funny scene, but that word has stuck with me. I'd never really heard it before then, but that word has stuck with me, and that's exactly the word that I think of when I think of David Tennant playing as the Doctor. To me, he was an overactor. He overdid it, and it was it was more of a turnoff. For me than anything else so I did just did not really appreciate his his role in there I I just wasn't a fan of him as the 10th doctor and I know that's kind of a minority opinion but it is what it is however like I said he has grown on me over the years because not too terribly long after he was in the doctor I saw him in a show called Broadchurch which they also did an American version of that show and he played in that American version as his same character except as an American. While that particular rendition wasn't awful it was not as good as the original. Anyway his acting in Broadchurch started to warm me up to him because he was very good in there and he wasn't ridiculous acting. So while he's not really my favorite actor um he, he, he's a hilarious person in real life, you guys, by the way. He came to our uh, our, our SuperCon, or now it's called GalaxyCon. He, he was here this year, and we went to his panel with Catherine Tate. And he's so hilarious. Really funny person in real life. So, you know, anyway, I lost my train of thought, interrupted myself. But it he was sort of a draw to watch the trailer, while at the same time, not really my favorite. I don't know. It's weird. It's like, it's like I said, he's grown on me, so maybe that was why I felt compelled to check this out. Plus, the title looks a little bit interesting. Criminal. Something nefarious is going on, and I would like to watch and find out what it is and see if the bad guys get their comeuppance. So, anyway, that is a very long reaction to a very short trailer. I do tend to ramble. And so I'm going to draw this to a close, you guys. Bye. Bye.